is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you slap a like on this for me. Well, Tack Stone took to Twitter the other day, and he called out Meek Mill. He said, fake-ass street dudes that select to run by street rules when it's convenient. Make a diss on how dudes chased your man once again. This dude is a whack-ass rapper. The streets let him slip through. Fucking bozo Rolex rapper. Then he also said, quit telling dudes you my partner, dude. You don't know me. And he said that's a quote from Tip. Basically, Tack Stone is basically calling out Meek Mill. Saying, hey man, you rap about all this street stuff. You ain't street. Stop talking about that and stop fucking talking about it so much. It sounds corny. And he's also talking about how Meek Mill keeps subliminally dissing A.R. Ab. They're from the same city. They used to be friends. But Meek Mill, for some reason, does, is trying to, like, hate on A.R. Ab. And then A.R. Ab's forced to kind of, like, kind of respond in a way, you know, because they're beefing right now. Meek Mill tweets out, they rode my dick to make it and still ain't got paper like me. A.R. Ab noticed that and he tweeted back, when they fear you, they constantly throw indirect shots at you. Wonder, are they ashamed of themselves when they look in the mirror and see a coward? Everybody's kind of calling Meek Mill out on not being such a gangster. Because, like, if you're a real street dude, I, I've, I've dealt with many of them. When they get, they, they don't want to be in the street. You're selling crack. You're looking behind your back every day. You got your friends wanting to murder you. Cops wanting to lock you up. It's not a great life. That's why a lot of these guys want to rap to get out of the streets. And trust me, once they get out of the streets, if they rap about it, they're not glorifying it anymore. Meek Mill glorifies it in a weird way like he strives to be a gangster. And he's not reflecting on his past as a gangster. Like, hey, all right, he doesn't want to go hit the kitchen anymore and sell crack. He wants to be a rapper going on tour. He'll talk about it. He really lived that life. He'll talk about it. But he's not going to glorify it because that's not a life for anybody. That's like a last resort type of life that you, you go into, you know, like you got to make money quick. You go into that. These guys don't want to, you know, constantly be fearing jail and death, you know. But Meek Mill, he wasn't really he grew up in Philly. Yes. And he grew up around this stuff, but he didn't live it like that. Maybe a little bit. You know, I'm not saying he didn't sell any weed or anything probably did but he was a rapper and he's a good ass rapper okay i'm not i'm not on here saying meek mill sucks meek mill's dope but he's just be a rapper talk about street stuff that he's seen like mob deep they didn't live street life they were around street life their dudes lived the street life and they rapped about it and it worked that's what meek mill should be doing but meek mill's acting like he's scarface you know what i mean like tax stone and him had a problem just a, just a few months ago, Tack Stone was calling him out for some picture Meek Mill posted with a bunch of gangsters from movies. And he said, where would you be sitting? Half of you dudes wouldn't be able to sit, come in the building like he's a, like he's a bona fide gangster. You know, it's like, come on, man. Saw that. He said, I know Meek was a pussy and a clown when he posted that pic on IG with all the movie villains talking about where would you be. I'm like, this dude, a whole civilian dreaming about being a gangster. Should have posted a pic with black entrepreneurs and asked who would you be. And that is so true. He's but dudes want to glorify being gangster because they never was a gangster and rarely had to deal with gangster issues. Anybody that hurt my feelings bled for it. And then he said, clowns promoting shit they don't stand for, pumping that bad dope on kids. Now you got a generation of followers who followed an actor glorifying Hispanics and Italians that will spit on you because like, he had like uh, people from Sopranos and stuff in the picture. Uh, I speak what I want because I'm willing to die for my words and protect what I stand for by any means. I'm willing to say it to yours now. You know, and I, re I kind of like, I respect Tack Stone for that because he doesn't want, Meek Mill has a lot of influence and like you don't want to influence kids to become drug dealers. You want to influence kids 
to be entrepreneurs, you know, get out there, start a business, make money. You don't want to influence them to go to jail or get murdered. And Meek Mill didn't live that life. He's a rapper that talks about that life. He talks about the street life. But don't portray it like you're a gangster and you can sit at the table with Scarface. Get out of here, man. But you know what, Meek Mill, just keep doing your thing. You're a good rapper. Be a good rapper. Make money. Support your family. Inspire kids to do right. But, you know, you're, I'm going to get a lot of hate on this because the Meek Mill fans are going to come out. But I'm just speaking my mind. And Tax Stone called somebody out on, a lot of, on what a lot of people were scared to say because they're afraid of the confrontation.